Um, just tell us how you see it then for the full year 2022. Well, as you described it in the numbers as well, it's really been a bounce back from where we've been uh, previously. We've been really restricted by the, 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 the virus for a long period of time with travel restrictions being really stringent as well. But we saw really a, a bounce back here that was demonstrated in the record earnings that we had in, in the quarter. We saw the whole of the industry was faced with the industry-wide challenges when it comes to the labor shortages. But as you said, we demonstrated a better operation performance here from the peak period of July going onwards. So now we're into this year. Uh, and we see strong demand in the peak periods, but of course outside the peak periods there's still a demand uh, 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 issue in terms of what we need to do in order to stimulate that. But strong demands in the peaks, half term was strong in October, Christmas, New Year's and the February as well, and the early indication for summer are, are, are good. But there's a lot of cost inflation coming to the industry as well, which is also affecting clearly the households. And obviously you'll be hoping to offset that with uh, higher ticket prices, one imagines, and, and better returns on revenue per seat. I mean, already good for full year 2022, up 31%. Can you expect that uh, revenue per seat number to continue to grow at that rate? Well, like all companies, we will try to recover, you know, the cost increases that we, we are having and we are seeing. But at the same time, we're always going to be able to also offer affordable prices for, for our customers. And, and EasyJet does traditionally really well compared to competitors in, in times of difficult uncertainties and challenges for households because people will gravitate towards value. We just did a survey here in the UK that demonstrates that three quarters of people here in the UK still have travel as the top priority for for 23 and we know that uh, the significant majority of them will plan to travel and then they will travel with low-cost airlines so we find ourselves in a good position to to capitalize on that opportunity but you know we have to take a lot of actions in order to do what we can to mitigate the the increases of the cost that we're seeing and then also be able then to have that balance of offering really also attractive fares to the consumers that we are so well known for. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.